Within this video, we are going to look at the explore findings. To get to findings, we click on the menu and pop down to findings in explore. Within this view, you can see all of the findings based upon what type of scans that you're doing, whether that's host VM web sc uh, vulnerability scanning, or whether that is web application scanning or host audits. Within here, we can see all of them within the same workbench. We have the ability to filter. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll look through and I'll create a filter minute. We can select additional filtering. So for example, we can then look at the BPR or target groups or look at the asset tag. This is really important for lots of our customers that have tags. So I can then select a tag saying classification, and this is top secret. And then I can apply that tag on the vulnerabilities that I have. I can then group by either an asset or by a plugin. This again drills down to the level that you wish to do. So if we then take out the tag asset but search, we can then see all of our vulnerabilities per plugin or by asset. So there we go. This again can look at safe searches. So I can populate this and say I only want to interested in high or critical vulnerabilities. And I only want to look at active or new vulnerabilities. And I can create the search and the criteria that I want. I can then save this search to be used uh, at another time. And then I can also pull this in and more do a more advanced search based upon my criteria. Within here, based upon a plugin or vulnerability, I can then action and export this. If I don't want to have any groupings at all, I then have the option to recast, to find, view all the findings that are associated with this one, or I can create a remediational project. This same view, of course, is in within the web application vulnerabilities, where I can do again filtering and selecting the filters that I require if I don't have them on my screen. I can then also recast vulnerabilities associated with web applications. If I want to select all of my vulnerabilities, I can then export and then select my format that I wanted and I can schedule that and add additional fields that I require for my export. This is how you would do it. You would populate this to say, okay, I want to schedule that export every certain amount of days. Within here, again, we highlight, I highlight you to the documentation. This allows you to have more information on not just the findings, but how to create, recast, and accept rules, and the differences, of course, within CVSS, CVSS and BPR. Hope you found this session interesting. Thank you very much for listening.